please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please be seated for a moment of silence. On this edition of Night TV, we'll be talking about your schedule change deadlines and hockey. I'm Maury Forbes. And I'm Chloe McIntosh, and you're watching Night, Night TV. TV. Good morning, Knights, and welcome back to Night TV. I'm so happy it's Friday. This week has felt so long after the break. Speaking of break, how was yours? Oh, it was fantastic. I got tons of important sleeping done. How that's, was yours? That's good. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Mine was great. I pushed all my homework back till Monday, and then on Sunday, I sat on my couch and watched my husband Dak play. Oh, so you're a Dak fan. Of course. He's a lot better than Romo. I mean, who wouldn't be? <laughs> well, let's see what our fellow Knights think. Dak Prescott. Tony Romo. Uh, Dak Prescott, because it sounds cool. Cole. He out there doing his thing. Is this on? Dak Prescott. I like Dak Prescott because he's younger, he's cuter, he's better. Dak Prescott. Tony Romo's old. He's always broken down, you know, he always gets injured. Because it's awesome. I would say Tony Romo, you know, because dude, my dude Cole, bro. Dak Prescott. I like Dak Prescott better because he managed to let the Cowboys be number one in the NFL. I love Dak Prescott because I have been with him since Mississippi State. I like Dak Prescott. Dak because the Cowboys actually win with him. Because he's really awesome at throwing the ball. Guys, I just love football. It's America's favorite pastime. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but I know a way cooler sport. What sport could be cooler than football? Hockey. Oh, okay. I see what you, you did get there. Yeah. Because the you ice, it's cold. <laughs> Rebecca Robinson checks in with the Frisco ISD hockey team to see how they're doing this year. Many students attend the basketball and soccer games every week. But some might not know that the hockey players from all over the district come together to make the Frisco ISD hockey team. The guys are 6-1 and one now, so they're kind of off to a good start. The hockey team was also successful last season. You know, some people at Frisco and the high schools may or may not know we finished 7th in the country last year. I mean, that's certainly something to be proud of. To get better as a team, players say they put a lot of time into hockey. I, I practice six, six days a week and have games, too. Get days a week. Coaches and players say the mindset they have allows them to be more competitive. Um, there's just a lot of good hockey players to choose from in Frisco, so um, the skill set that we have versus other programs is, is awesome, and I'm kind of a competitive type guy myself. So, Like here, it's more like show up, you're not playing, and then like it's more of like a structured set hockey, and like it's like everyone's good versus like half the team sucks. While most teams are specific to one school, the hockey team has players from all over the district. Uh, like so, every Frisco, t every Frisco school is one team, but we have like four different teams. So there's varsity gold, varsity silver, varsity bronze, and then JV. So based on your skill level, you're put on the team. 
Players say that being with kids from all over the district helps them make new friends. I enjoy being able to meet new people from all over the district, hanging out, traveling with them. With a strong team bond, they hope to make it to state and for some support on the rink every Thursday. You know, we have a team again this year that will compete for states and hopefully go to nationals. So I hope that we do get a little more support. We'd love to see some people at the games and hopefully uh, do what we can. I'm Rebecca Robinson with Night TV. I just learned a lot about hockey, but football is still better. Whatever you say, Mari. In other news, if you're struggling in any of your AP classes this semester, you may want to consider dropping it. Drop forms are available now outside the counseling's office and are due before Wednesday the 11th by 4.30 right after school. Don't forget. I know I won't. Tonight, boys basketball will be playing Lakeland at Lakeland, freshman and JV at 6, and varsity at 7.15. Girls basketball will also be playing Wakeland at Wakeland tonight, JV at 4.45, and varsity at 6. Good luck, basketball. Um, teachers, do not forget today is recycling day, so please put your bins outside your door and leave them out until the end of third period. Well, that's all we have for you today, Knights. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at night underscore TV. Also, be sure to check out our website, nightpress.org. Who knows, you might be on there. Well, I'm Mari Forbes. And I'm Chloe McIntosh. And remember to keep, keep it noble, Knights. Knights.